Hi, I'm Vic Teslin. Welcome to my shop. One of the things that woodworkers really struggle with is getting good dados in plywood. Um, plywood, especially cabinet uh, grade plywood, is difficult sometimes because we never know if it's in metric or in imperial measurements. If it says three quarters, it's probably not three quarters. So some people say, well, just use 23 30 seconds. But then 23 30 seconds isn't really accurate because it's supposed to be a metric measurement. So what actually is it? 19, 18? Hard to say. I'm going to show you a technique where I purposefully um, reduce the dado size a little bit so that I can sneak up on the fit um, with the tongue that goes into the dado. Stay with me and I'll show you how I do it. All right. The first step is to set the depth of the dado. I usually shoot for about a third of the plywood's thickness. I always make sure that my last adjustment is upwards to remove any backlash. Now position the fence so that your dado location is centered on the bit. Take your time to get it just right. Great, with everything set up, push the plywood over the bit. Make sure your fingers are clear of where the bit will exit and put even pressure down and against the fence as you cut the dado. Now onto the tongue. Set the fence and bit to create a shallow rabbit. This is just your starting point. After the initial pass, check to see how close you are to fitting. Raise the bit slightly to reduce the tongue thickness. Do these raises in small increments. You don't want to make the tongue too thin. A good fit is when it only takes moderate hand pressure to fit the tongue into the dado. Now we can move on to the width of the tongue. Loosen one side of the fence and slide it back a couple of millimeters and pass the board through. This will increase the width of the tongue slightly. Once again, this is sneaking up on the perfect fit, so take your time. The result is totally worth the effort. A snug fitting joint is the goal. Now, go give it a try in your shop, because in order to understand, you must do.